Hello, I am Mani Malarvannan. In this video, we will look into crypto marketing analytics, measuring ROI in a decentralized world topic. We will see what are all the different tools are there for us to use for the Web3, to collect Web3 data and create analytics based on the data, based on the data that we get from various blockchain technologies. We also talk about what are all the different tools are available, what are all the traditional tools are there, and what are all the new upcoming tools to target Web3 marketing. The unique challenges in crypto marketing is that uh, there is a, this data is there in the decentralized ecosystems. What I mean by that was the data that users make transactions that are all created within a blockchain that are all stored in various uh, blockchain networks. Uh, for example, if we have your customers uh, using Ethereum blockchain, then all the transactions, token transfers, purchasing NFTs, all those transactions are all recorded in the Ethereum blockchain. Similarly, if your customers are using Solana blockchain, then those data is stored in the Solana blockchain. Those two blockchains cannot talk each other. So your customer using multiple blockchains, those data will be separated in two distinct blockchains. And also within the blockchain, those are all stored in various networks. So you need to have a system to collect those data and create analytics to understand your user behavior. And the second critical aspect is the pseudo anonymous identities. What I mean by that was the data that is stored for the customer transactions, you cannot know who the real person is. For example, if your customers are using Ethereum wallet and purchasing a NFT token, their public blockchain address is stored in Ethereum. Using that, you can identify some public address made a NFT purchase, but you cannot tie that person who that public address belongs to. So that's what uh, I mean by pseudo anonymous. But in the Web2 world, that's not the case. The companies like uh, Google, Facebook, Meta, or Microsoft, any of the big companies, they can able to identify the user because as a user, you use your user ID and password, email address to log in and then make some transactions. Then those companies, they collect your data. They can able to create profile based on your data and identify who the customer they are using their system and where they are physically located and all those informations they can able to collect it. And also the another critical aspect in the blockchain is, as I said earlier, the data is fragmented. The transactions are all stored in Ethereum blockchain and whoever is using Solana blockchain, those transactions are stored in the Solana blockchain. Those two are not integrated. So you need to collect those and uh, create dashboards or visual frameworks, visual gadgets to visualize the data so that you can understand how well your marketing campaign is performing. And because of that, uh, trying to find out the attribution of your uh, customers in the Web3 world is challenging. You need to have a proper tools and technologies so that you can able to identify how many users came to your website or decentralized application, dApps, and how many of them are purchasing NFT tokens, how many of them are just leaving without purchasing NFT tokens, or whatever the marketing campaign you are running to acquire more users for your decentralized application for your customers. So the tracking key marketing metrics in crypto is a very challenging aspect. The one side, there is a website traffic. Even though the blockchain transactions are all stored in the blockchain, they still use the traditional web browsers or mobile applications to log into your application, your customer's application, and they'll go through various pages within your website. And finally, if they like what they see, they commit, they purchase an NFT token, and then the transaction gets stored in the blockchain. 
So you need to collect the Web2 data from the Web2 aspect of it, how many users are visiting your website and how long they are staying in your website and what exactly the pages they are visiting and finally how many of them are purchasing it. If you just collect only the transactions in the blockchain transactions, you know only the end result. And if you just collect the Web2 transactions, you cannot understand what is going on in the Web2 side, Web3 side. So you need to have collect all those data and create a 360 degree view of your customers so that you can understand how well your marketing campaign is performing. Another important aspect is the social media engagement. In the social media, either uh, Twitter, X or whatever social media you are targeting, Discord or Telegram or channels, you need to make sure that you collect those data as well and integrate it with the Web2 data and the Web3 data. So all those are all important. Uh, so that you can understand how well your customers are performing for your marketing campaign. So the on-chain activity is basically the transaction that happens in the blockchain. So generally they talk about on-chain activity is the transactions, token purchases that is stored in the blockchain. And then the half-chain activity is that are not part of the blockchain, like social media campaign or your uh, web marketing campaign. All those interactions are all collected and those are all termed as off-chain activity. So you need to collect both the data to create a unified view of your customer so that you can understand how well your marketing campaigns are performing. And attribution modeling in the Web3 world is complex compared to the Web2 world. In the Web2, all your data is stored. So either you can collect the data or you can use Google Analytics tool to use those uh, data to create a profile for your customers and how well your website is working. Say for example, if you are um, doing a marketing for your e-commerce site, at the end of the day, you can identify how many of the users are coming to your website and how many of them are putting items in the shopping cart and clicking the purchase button. So that's the transaction starts and ends within the single website and you can able to collect the data. But in the Web3 world, you need to collect the Web2 data and also the Web3 data. So creating the attribution modeling to understand where your customers are dropping off is critical and challenging because you need to collect data from multiple different data sources and create a unified view for your marketing campaigns. And also, as I said earlier, all the transactions that are happening in the blockchain are all pseudo-anonymous. So only the, with the public blockchain, you need to understand who the real user is. For that, in the Web3 world, you need to get a consent from the user so that you can collect the data in, in the Web2 side those who are coming into our website using user ID, password registration, or using their wallet to enter into your decentralized application or mobile application, and then purchasing any type of uh, NFT tokens or doing any type of activities. They could be sending some money from their wallet to their friends and family's wallet. So all those transactions are all happening within the blockchain, but once you get the consent from the customers, you can able to tie the public blockchain with the wallet address, what they are using to commit the transactions. And then using that, you can able to integrate the Web2 data and Web3 data to create a attribution model to understand how well your marketing campaign is performing. Using data to optimize uh, crypto marketing campaigns. Uh, the data has been playing a very critical role uh, for the past 10 years, starting from machine learning applications and now with the Gen AI applications, that the data is very crucial. Using your customer's data, you can able to identify how well your marketing campaigns are 
working for your customers whether it is the web 2 marketing or a web 3 marketing you need to have a, your data to collect the data from your customers you still need to follow various international and local laws so that you know that your customers know how exactly you are going to use your data and also you are also making sure that you are not violating any of the laws where the customers they belong to and for that you need to analyze the data once you collect using various methodologies one technique is to use the a b testing so that you can able to identify which landing page is getting more customer views um, that's a one strategy it successfully companies are all using to understand how to attract more customers whether one page is getting 60 percent uh, at attribution rate versus another one, then you can able to identify which landing page has more customers and you can create your marketing campaign, campaign tailoring to that particular web page. And also optimizing the, the channel allocation. Uh, for example, within the social media, say you are starting a marketing campaign by posting in uh, Twitter uh, X and also in LinkedIn and also in Discovered channel. Uh, so discard channel in all three you need to make sure which one is performing maximum output at the end our goal is to identify how many of them are purchasing nft token or whatever may be the campaign say for example uh, if we are a marketing for an initial coin offering you need to make sure that how many of them are purchasing the the coins that you are marketing for. Or if you are building a community, then you need to make sure that how well the marketing campaign is working for various uh, social media channels. So, so that you can able to spend more money for that particular social media channel. So all those are all very critical to understand how well your marketing campaign is working. And also you need to identify how many users are coming from which channel and then whether they are continuing and finally purchasing the NFT tokens or committing any transaction in the blockchain. If say 100 users are coming to your uh, website, among the 100 users, uh, only 10 users are all purchasing it. The rest of the 90 users are dropping off. You need to identify where they are dropping off, which page they are dropping off and why they are dropping off so that you can able to make the adjustment to increase the dropping uh, from or decrease the dropping from 10% uh, to maybe 30% so that you will have more people purchasing the NFT tokens that you are marketing. There are various uh, tools and technologies are available uh, for you to consider. The one such tool is uh, Analytic Kit. I am uh, working for analytic kit um, so i can talk about an analytic kit product so we have a platform to collect web 2 data and web 3 data and integrate those two data to create a unified view of your marketing campaigns so that you can able to understand how many users are coming into your website how well they are performing and how many of them are finally purchasing the NFT token. We do not have a component to integrate with the social media. We are working on it. And uh, in the next couple of months, we will be launching that one. Um, so there are various videos uh, in this channel. If you want to know more about Analytic Kit, please go and see those videos. And also there is any particular tool you are interested. We have various tools, Web2 tools and Web3 tools. You can go and uh, see those videos or go to our uh, website and you can learn more about that. And then the other, another critical important tool, tool is the Dune Analytics. See, this tool is if you are a, a developer wants to do a low level analysis of all the data that is happening in the Web3 with various blockchains, you can write SQLs to get the data and perform analysis. And also there is a community driven uh, SQLs are all available in Dune website. You can go and 
use those uh, SQLs to retrieve data and perform analysis. And then the other tool is uh, Nansen. So this tool is integrating your customer's wallet to the blockchain, and you can use those to perform the analysis. And of course, there is a tradition, there are traditional analysis tools are there, but these tools, like uh, Google uh, Analytics, Mixpanel, and all those works only in the Web2 world. Or there are specific tools are there to analyze uh, Twitter sentiment or LinkedIn campaign and all those the, all those tools. Those are all works only in the Web2. You cannot integrate with the Web3. But analytic kit, you can get the Web2 data and integrate with the Web3 data and you create a unified unified profile. So you don't have to do it using our platform. You can able to create campaigns. You can able to target how well your campaign is performing both in the web two side and also in the web three side so that you can identify how well your campaign is performing. And also you need to make sure that uh, you are not doing the analysis at the end of the campaign. When you start the campaign, you can able to perform the analysis on an everyday basis. So if you are running a marketing campaign for 15 days, you need to make sure that how well your marketing campaign is working on the first day, second day, so that you can adjust and fine tune the campaign to achieve your goals for your marketing campaigns. So for that, uh, Analytic Kit uh, integrates those two data, Web2 data and Web3 data to create a unified view for your customers. Uh, Web3 marketing campaigns are all been happening uh, for many, many years. Uh, um, I'll go through some of them that are successfully launched using the approach of uh, integrating both Web2 and Web3 data, and they create a successful marketing campaigns. There. In the NFT launch board app, it's very popular one. Um, so they created a marketing campaign and then they increased the ROI by 6,000% in the within the 12 months of period they launched. It's very popular one and they have great success using the marketing Web3 marketing campaigns. Another one is the DeFi user accusation category. Um, have a liquid mining so they created a marketing campaign. They increased the total value logged in their um, pools, uh, mining liquidity pools by 392%. So it's, they all used Web3 marketing tools and technologies. And then in the token awareness, uh, the Solana developer workshops, they created it and then they bring in very, very many developers because uh, Solana is competing, directly competing with Ethereum. They started uh, many, many years back and Solana is catching up and they have successful campaign using the Web2 and Web3 technologies. And then in the community building category, Polygon, uh, Twitter Spaces launched, uh, they, Polygon created a campaign um, so that they can attract users through Twitter campaign and they increased the ROI on community investment by 187%. And then you can also bring in influencer. Uh, Crypto.com brought in LeBron influencer, uh, the greatest, uh, one among the great basketball players in US. So they created a new community and also they created their marketing campaign using that and uh, they increased their user base successfully. Um, so that's all I want to discuss in this uh, video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please uh, let us know. And also, uh, as I said earlier, uh, we have uh, analytic.com um, platform. You can go to our website and learn more about our Web2 and Web3 platform. And also, if you want to start using it, uh, you can go to dpa.analytic.com and start using our uh, platform directly. And you can perform the analysis both in the Web2 and Web3 side and create marketing campaigns for yourself. And Thank you, appreciate your time. And before you go, uh, please uh, help us to grow this channel by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you, appreciate your time, bye.